Now, with example six, it's a little bit different because are either of my equations already solved for a variable? No. And I need to solve one of them for a variable. They all have coefficients. So which one makes the most sense to solve for the top or the bottom? I'm going to agree and go with the bottom. Because if you... But listen, though, because if I come down here with the, this, I'm either going to have to subtract the 6x and then divide by 12, or I'm going to have to subtract the 12 and then divide by 6. Okay? Here, at least I don't have to worry about this constant. My constant is going to be 0, right? So do you want to solve for x or y? X. All right, so let's solve... Yeah, let's solve this one for x, which means I'm going to have to add my 8y. Everybody agree? So that negative 4x is going to be equal to 8y. If I divide by negative 4, x is going to equal what? Negative 2y. Does everybody agree with that? So now I've solved for x. I can take this negative 2y and replace it in my top equation for x. Everybody okay with that? All right, so let's do that. Let's go 6. Maybe. 